Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to swap two elements of an array in Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import java.util.arrays. We're going to be using this to print out the array, so we can see it before and after it's been swapped. After that, we are going to do string two square brackets my array equals Jeff Cake Duck Ichigo and Frog. This is our string array that we're going to be swapping elements in. Then we're going to do system.out.println arrays.toString my array. This line of code literally just prints out the contents of an array. So how do we go about swapping two elements? And by the way, this will work for other types of arrays. So if you have an integer array, a boolean array, a floating point array, it's going to work on all of those. So we're going to be creating two variables. These are going to be swap index one and swap index two. And these are going to be the indexes or elements of the array that we want to swap. So we want to swap index number one or elements number one with elements number two. So in Java with arrays, we always start with zero for our indexing. So Jeff is zero, cake is one, duck is two, Ichigo is three, and frog is four. So with swap index one and two, we want to swap cake and duck around. Um, our first step is we need to make a, te a temporary variable. This needs to be of the variable type your array is. So if you're doing an int array, it would be an int. If you're doing a float array, this would be a float. If you've got a string array, this is a string. So we do string temp, and we're going to do equals my array swap index one. So we're going to be putting the first element of the array we want to swap. We're going to put the value of it in a temporary variable. After that, we are going to do my array swap index one equals my array swap index two. So if we take this array we have in our example, what we're going to be doing is this array element that's got cake is now going to contain duck. So this array right now, as of this line of code, is Jeff, duck, duck, Ichigo, frog. And you might be thinking, but Max, we need to put cake where duck is now. And we will. But this is why you made a temporary variable. We need to, a place to store that value temporarily so we can do our swap. After that, we do my array swap index 2 equals temp. So we're saying, right, this duck element it's going to be equal to cake because that's what's stored in our temporary variable. And that's how you do a swap. So after we're going to then do system.printline arrays.toString my array. This is going to print out the array with the swapped values. And by the way, this is a really, really handy three lines of code to remember because swapping stuff is very useful and can be used in a wide variety of things, including sorting. So let's hit control S to save and hit play. So as you can see, we swapped cake and duck around. But let's try one more. What if we want to swap index number four with index number zero? Well, let's hit play and see what happens. Frog and Jeff were swapped around successfully. By the way, if you do a swap index that doesn't exist in the array, you will get an out of bounds error. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Java tutorials.